Hi and welcome to GP Physiotherapy. In this video, we are going to learn about scapulohumeral rhythm. Before starting you should know that degree varies from person to person. So, you should compare one side of shoulder with other side of shoulder for best result. Let's start, what is scapulohumeral rhythm? The shoulder complex acts in a coordinated manner to provide the smoothest and greatest ROM possible to the upper limb. Motion available to the GH joint alone would not account for the full range of elevation available to the humerus. The remainder of the range is contributed by the scapula on the thorax through its SC and AC linkages. Combined called as scapulohumeral rhythm. First we learn about scapulothoracic and glenohumeral contribution. The scapula on the thorax contributes to elevation, flexion and abduction of the humerus by upwardly rotating the scapula by 50 to 60 degree from its resting position. And the GH joint contributes 100 to 120 degree of flexion and 90 to 120 degree of abduction. The combination of it result is 180 degree of elevation of shoulder. 60 degree of scapula upward rotation plus 120 degree of glenohumeral elevation equals 180 degree of shoulder elevation. This combination makes a ratio of 2 GH to 1 ST motion. According to this ratio frame work, 90 degree of elevation achieved by 60 degree of GH and 30 degree of ST motion. Now, sternoclavicular and acromioclavicular contributions. Elevation of the arm in any plane involves motion of the SC and AC joints to produce ST joint motion. Because ST joint is a part of closed chain. Contributions of the SC and AC joint to ST upward rotation during arm elevation to be about 50% from SC elevation and 50% from AC upward rotation. 20 to 30 each to obtain 50 to 60 upward rotation. And 10 to 15 degree of clavicle elevation. 20 to 25 degree clavicle retracts and 30 to 55 degree of clavicle posterior rotation. Let's simplify all of the learning till now into three phases. Phase 1. With first 30 degree of elevation. Humerus shows 30 degree abduction. Clavicle shows 0 to 5 degree elevation. Scapula shows minimal movement. In phase 2. 30 to 90 degree of elevation. Humerus abducts 40 degree. Scapula rotates 20 degree. Clavicle elevates 15 degree. Now you are thinking that 40 plus 20 equals 60 degree. Where is 30 degree so don't confuse we already do 30 degree elevation in phase 1. Now phase 3. 90 to 180 degree of elevation. Humerus abducts 60 degree. Scapula rotates 30 degree. Clavicle elevates 15 degree with posterior rotation of 30 to 55 degree. Alright this is our video. I hope you liked our video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Subscribe to our channel, and check us out on various social media. I will see you in our next video. Bye.